Um, we are just like a local community bakery, um, really trying to appeal to the people who live around here, uh, a place for people to come in with their kids and kind of hang out a little bit, get some good baked goods, coffee, birthday cakes, things like that. These are lemon tarts I'm making for Anita's Kitchen. I've worked in restaurants for about 20 years, really, and uh, then I got married and had kids and kind of took a break from everything, did stuff out of my house. And I really like the idea of local bakeries. But once I figured out that I could do it the way I wanted to do it, not do it the way every other bakery was done, I could, kind of, I could make it my own. I, could, I didn't have to have the donuts and the, the normal you know, bakery stuff. Then I got excited about it and started working on it, and it kind of all fell into place pretty quick. I am a pack rat. I have a lot of stuff, and it actually kind of became an avenue for me to just kind of incorporate a lot of my own things in here. I like a really vintage feel. Um, I collect aprons. We put aprons on the wall. I really like pinwheels and hence the name and do the paper pinwheels. And I just wanted to be really light, really open, really airy place and really fun. Um, it's a small community. Everybody kind of knows everybody. I live here. My kids go to school here. There's a big walking community in Ferndale. Uh, we just have, have gotten great response from all of our neighbors and everything. It's just been really positive. A lot of the bigger stores have gone out of business or left Ferndale, and I think it's kind of making way for um, more independent stores, which is nice to see. I have children. My children are nine and seven. When they were younger, I remember going to Starbucks with my kids, and that was just boring for them. It was boring for me. It was, you know, there was nothing to do. But here, it's really interesting because we've got the little counters along the window so the kids can sit in the window and look out instead of, you know, grown-ups sitting in the window. And they'll just sit there, and they'll just draw, or they'll look at a book. Really simple, basic stuff, and it keeps them entertained for so long. I just wanted a place that was really comfortable for both parents and kids. I know that we're not a necessity. We're not something that people have to have here. You know, they might not be able to go out and have fancy dinner with wine and everything else, but they can still go out and enjoy a cupcake or a treat. Make a of a tree. I think it's really important for communities to, to support their local businesses. And I think people were getting away from that for quite a while, and it seems like they're coming back around to it, especially now with the economy kind of going south uh, and so many of the big stores going out of business. People are remembering that, you know, they, we have to support the little guy, too. Make up